So these are the weekly skincare rituals that you need to start doing if you want to transform your skin. You want to start out by oil cleansing. You want to either do this with a cleansing balm or cleansing oil or simply just um, use a natural oil like pure almond oil or olive oil or even argan oil. This works amazing in cleansing your skin. Ensure to walk the oil into your skin for at least 6 minutes to dissolve all that dirt and makeup. So step two is to go ahead and cleanse the skin. So here I am using a very mild cleanser because of the um, processes I'll be doing later in this video as you will see. So I do not want to overwhelm my skin. So basically just cleansing my skin, making sure to follow the 60 second rule. Also make sure you're washing your ears and also the back of your ears as well and your neck. And after that, I'm just going to um, rinse this off of my skin. The next step is dermaplaning. Dermaplaning is simply just shaving your face. I use an eyebrow razor to dermaplane as well as um, aloe vera gel. And I'm basically just going to be applying the aloe vera gel on my skin and then I proceed with shaving my face. So I have a very detailed video on how to dermaplane your face, how to shave your face. So I'm going to link that in this video and you can go watch that after. Dermaplaning does not just serve the purpose of, you know, taking off hairs from your face. It also helps to exfoliate your skin. Dermaplaning should be done once every week. Next are the lips. They are part of your face and should not be ignored when you're doing your weekly or even your daily skin ritual. So I'm going to make a DIY lip scrub of sugar, lemon and petroleum jelly. I'm just going to mix that together and use my toothbrush to um, scrub my lips. I am being really gentle with this, okay? You don't want to scrub this rigorously. The petroleum jelly is going to help soften your lips. It's going to help take off any dead skin cells and just leave you with that nice smooth lips. Afterwards, proceed with moisturizing the lips. Step 5 is to steam the face. You can use the normal face steamer if you don't have that. Not to worry, just do what I'm doing here. Use a bowl um, with hot water and just put your face above the water. Cover with a towel, steam your face for 10 to 15 minutes. You can see the amount of sweat on my face. This has really opened up my pores. Step six is to use a detoxifying mask or a treatment mask. Here I'm using the Axtec Healing Clay Mask with apple cider vinegar. I made sure to dilute the apple cider vinegar with water and I'm just going to mix that well together. This mask is amazing for treating your skin. It's great for detoxifying your skin. I highly recommend this mask. I have a video where I use this mask for a week. I'm going to link it here. You can go ahead and watch so you see what this did to my skin in just a matter of seven days. After steaming the face is the perfect time to go ahead with your treatment masks because then your pores are open so it's able to absorb that mask well into your skin. I use my treatment masks two to three times in a week. Step 7 is to use hydrating mask. So this is to replenish your skin, to give your skin back that moisture. I basically just use any hydrating mask here. I'm using this sheet mask from Garnier and I'm just making sure to rub that also on my neck. I'm reading the um, directions at the back just to know how long I'll leave that on for. So after taking that off, I am going to rub that into my skin on my neck and let that dry. You need all this moisture, all this goodness. You literally don't want to rinse this off. Another great alternative if you just want to use something natural is by mixing aloe vera and honey together. This works equally as well, even better than the store-bought face mask because this is going to help glow your skin and retain moisture. Next step is to tone the skin. Do not use a cotton pad to apply your toner, especially one that has an active ingredient in it. Tap the product into your skin instead. I love using a hydrating toner because trust me, your skin cannot be over hydrated. There's nothing like that. Feed your skin all that hydration. It needs it. Step 9 is to of course moisturize the skin. So depending on your skin type, you want to choose a good moisturizer. 
I love moisturizers with ceramides. Ceramides help to build the skin. I also love very thick moisturizers because I have a dry skin. Also, do not forget your neck and your ear area when applying your moisturizers. Finally, step 10 is to seal all your skincare products with an occlusive. This is a step you do not want to skip if you're someone that lives in cold regions or if you have a very dry skin. You can occlude your skin with Vaseline like I did here or with um, some other products like the CeraVe Eileen Ointment. Vaseline also serves as a great under eye cream. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell icon so you get notified anytime I post a new video. Goodbye and I'll see you guys in my next video.